Hi everybody, Karen Roby and Adrian Kingsley Hughes here for ZDNet and on the heels of the Made by Google event, uh, we're talking specifically about the Pixel 4 and in your article here, Adrian, you're talking about Apple's iPhone 11 where they both fail. Explain. Well, it's 2019, almost 2020, and here we are, we've seen flagship handsets being released this year that all start off with a base storage of 64 gigabytes which is exactly where we were back in 2017 when the iPhone X or iPhone 10 launched and it was the Pixel 2 back then. So you mean the, these, these devices both start off with 64 gigabytes of storage and here we are with 64 gigabytes of storage again and it, it, it really is an insult. It, it is just insulting to, to customers that we're still in this position. There's no reason for a, it really is just to upsell devices with more storage. Yeah, and Adrian, you know, uh, we've talked a, a good bit now about this event and some of the things that, uh, uh, you know, came out of it and the announcements, most of it leaked information that we knew ahead of time. But um, anything, you know, what were your thoughts on the event in, in general besides that good, bad or indifferent about the phones and the other devices that they talked about? Well, I, th I think what we're looking at now is that really it's very hard to sell high-end phones. It's really very hard to make a convincing point to buy them. Um, Apple and Google both seem to be putting the focus on night photography. You, know, you can take great celestial photography with a Pixel 4. And it's like, well, okay, but it's, it's, it's a gimmick. It, it really is an edge case. Not many people are going to do that. They're going to take a few photos and they're going to look at it and go, okay, I took some photos of the sky. Wow, that looks cool. But it's not going to really going to change their lives at all. It's really looking at something and going, you know, this is a gimmick. And I think that's where we are now. What's, what's where we're at? On solid places like better storage, like cheaper phones, like what else would people love? Really massive batteries. Um, we're not seeing progress being made there. We're seeing some little bit of wow factor. I'm reminded of, of when I was a kid and we used to get a little paper catalog through the door and it would always be some some massive paddling pool in the picture and all the kids and the parents would go, wow. But in real life, these things were tiny and disappointing and people got bored of them real quick and you know, the novelty wore off. I think that's where we are with phones. These things, are, the novelty wears off really quick of being able to take night shots or... This isn't what people use their phone for. People are using their phones all the day, mostly for communicating with people through the internet, over messaging apps and consuming social media. For that, those kind of people, they want good battery life, they want decent storage, and they want actually robust phones that will last quite a few years, not being able to take pictures of the galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and do you think just in general that uh, after uh, this event here, Adrian, do you think that Google missed the mark or just kind of sort of hit on it? Well, I think it, it, that, that's a hard one to tell. People, people are going to buy phones no matter what anyway, because of the way the upgrade cycle works. And the sort of people that would benefit from buying a Pixel 4 are probably people who maybe have a Pixel 2. Um, or Pixel phone. It, it, it really isn't the case of being a yearly upgrade, same with the iPhone. It's mostly for people who have run their phone for quite a few years who will see that advantage. And so rather than trying to sell phones, I think they're just really making a new phone available to people who just happened to buy it that year. I think there's a lot less trying to sell phones now and more you know, just, just realizing them as just commodities, just as we have new laptops or new desktop PCs, new versions come out, new models come out every year. It's the same with phones now. It's just that we're seeing odd features like night photography being highlighted as some kind of big wow factor. Yeah. So Adrian, do you think most people, it's just at this point, just if uh, they don't need to upgrade, it's just a matter of waiting maybe for 5G. I mean, that's what's next, what we're waiting on. Well, 5G is something that's going to make a big difference, both in terms of speeds that people get, but also in terms of connection and how many phones can operate, especially in areas that are saturated. That's going to be a big, big change. And really, people on the ground are going to see the difference there. Until then, I think it's, it's clear the makers are just twiddling their thumbs and 
releasing something new because they're expected to release something new. Yeah, they most certainly are. All right, Adrian, we thank you for your insight on this and for more on the Google event and what was announced, make sure you check out ZDNet and Tech Republic. Thanks for watching.